Hello and welcome to Dark Money Secrets. On this channel, we're going to be showing you all kinds of obscure, unknown, and unique ways to make money online that many of you may have never heard of. We're also going to be showing you lots of older ways to make money, but with newer techniques. So if you're looking to create a side income or maybe even replace your income fully with an online income that you create yourself and to become financially free, then this channel is for you. Now, uh, that being said, this video is going to be kind of long. I'm just going to go into a basic introduction of myself and many of the things that I've worked on and many of the different ways that you can make money online in sort of a long format. Uh, it's going to be kind of long and rambly, and that's okay because I'm new to this video stuff and I want to make sure that I give everybody the best intro possible and give you the best start to making money online. Now, if you haven't, please like and subscribe to join my community of people making money online in many unique ways. Now, why is this called dark money? Well, it's not like it's illegal. None of the stuff I do here is illegal or immoral in any way. It's mostly just finding unique ways to make money that are hidden, obscure, or maybe people don't want you to know about. And that's kind of what I want to focus on. Now... Me personally, I've done a lot of different kinds of online businesses. Many of them did not work out. Many of them did. And so I know what works and what doesn't work just based on what I've done. I've even worked on a lot of teams on the back end of many online businesses that were really successful, successful making like seven, six, seven, eight figures. So one thing I can tell you is that if you're starting out just wanting to learn, the best thing you can do is just get started. You're not really going to learn anything until you get started at something. And on this channel, we're going to be showing you a lot of different ways to get started or to even jump in. If you're a college student or even a high school student that just wants to play around, we're going to have options for you that doesn't cost anything, that it doesn't take any skills, that anybody could do just by logging into a website or downloading an app or just playing around. And then we're also going to be showing you more deeper subjects like drop shipping and uh, e-commerce and building courses and uh, so many other of these larger, more established make money online schemes. But they're not really schemes, they're actual business models. Most people, they seem to think that if you do make money online or if you do make some kind of passive income or start a business or want to be an entrepreneur that it's all scams. And there's a handful of them that are scams, but most of them are actually really legit. You know, people that work hard building something, uh, sharing knowledge, building an actual business, giving people value. And that's something that's very important in the online space. And it's something that a lot of people don't really focus on, but just giving value is a huge part of it. If you're trying to sell something that people don't want, you're not giving them the value that they need. Um... If you're trying to teach something that people don't need to learn, you're not giving them the value that they need. So in any case, uh, working online is something that is not, it's not a high barrier to entry that most people think. It's like, there's actually a low barrier to entry, and that's kind of what I want to go over in this channel, is that there's a lot of easy ways to get started that most people don't even think about. Um, and it's just... It's not as impossible as you think it is, no matter what anybody tells you. And, and plus, it's not, it's not bad either. It's not immoral to want to start an online business. It's not immoral to build a company. It's not immoral to sell a product. It's not immoral to build a product and sell it. It's, it's creating value. As long as you're doing it in a way that creates value and you, you charge something fair, then it's not bad. That's more of the online entrepreneurship. But even getting into easier ways to make money, dark money secrets, you know, these obscure little hacks that you can use to create some extra cash on the side, uh, it's not bad. A lot of companies out there will pay you to click this or watch that or, or download this or play this game. It's really surprising. So if you have faith that you can get out there and put yourself out there and just jump into it, it's not going to be as hard as you think it is. Uh, I promise that. You're going to find 
there's so much opportunity if you start looking, but you got to start. You can't sit back and wait for it. You have to get out there and jump into it. I've had a lot of teachers uh, teach me about making money online and trying to, you know, I'm trying to re- repay the favor to those out there that are wanting to get started or wanting to just learn more. And what they tell me is, besides just get started, you know, have faith that it'll work out. What I've seen is from the programs that I've worked in, 80% of it is mindset. If you believe that you can get in there and make money, then you will. If you don't, you won't because you'll give up. And all the people that do it, they, they believe they put in the time and the effort. And you won't put in the time and the effort if you don't actually believe it's going to work. And what we're going to show you is many different ways that you, it will work just by following a few steps. You can make a little money. And then you can make a lot of money on some of these. Some of it is just uh, something you can make after you get off work or after school or class or whatever. And some of it is an actual full-fledged business model that you can use that many people don't talk about or they don't talk enough about. So I would keep that in mind. Let me just check something right here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this all in one take to try and better myself in video creation because that's just something that I like to do and I want to get better at because so much of what I do is involved in video and I don't do enough of it. So that's why I'm completely raw and open with you. And it's good to talk to somebody that's just right in there and trying to give you general advice instead of somebody that cuts out everything because this lets you know that I'm a real person and my team is out there as well to help you learn all kinds of new techniques to make money. So what are some different things that I've done? I've created books for Amazon publishing. Uh, it's It's a business model where you create books and you stick it on Amazon Kindle to sell and you advertise and try to make a profit off of that and that was interesting but I I actually wrote and illustrated the entire book myself and it was a good it was a good experience I used um, Adobe InDesign to design the book and of course Photoshop and Illustrator to create a bunch of the designs Uh, Adobe is like something I'm really into you can do a lot with Adobe. But that's how I created the book, and then I stuck it on Amazon. And you can actually, it gives you an option to run advertising to your book. Now, for that, what was interesting is you don't get much traction if you don't get reviews. Reviews are really important on Amazon. Uh, and when, when it comes to books, some people can be a little picky about what they want to review and getting finding people to get reviews to your book because it takes a lot of time to read it and if you want an honest review and somebody that's actually going to uh, leave you a five-star review uh, they, they probably ought to read it and it takes a while and so they forget that's one thing to keep in mind there's always some little thing in business or in making money online that can stop you some uh, little tweak or some uh, little little roadblock that will come up and keep you from fulfilling whatever you're trying to do. Uh, and that's that's one of those things that happened with publishing. And um, let's see, what else did I do? There's, I've also sold like little toys for e-commerce. I had a Shopify store. I did that route. And I made some money doing that. And then I stopped doing that because it was just, it wasn't that fun. You had to find the right product at the right time. But there's a lot of ways uh, to do it right. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people like that. They prefer that. Me, I like making content. I like creating things. I like creating books and courses. That's my personality. That's what I prefer. And now I'm trying to create videos. And I'm trying to get better at that. Uh, I didn't like just having something like drop shipping from China where I never saw the people that I was working with and I didn't do anything like that felt was making a difference. Now I feel like I'm making a difference doing something like this and writing books and uh, building courses, stuff like that. I like doing that. 
but some of you you might prefer doing drop shipping because it's it's an easy system that a lot of people can set up and it's just you get it started and it just keeps going now I've also worked on the back end of courses my own and other people's and what I can say from that is it's it can it could make a lot of money once you get it up and then it just brings in money it just keeps bringing in money but at first it's going to be a pain to set it up and then you have to manage it and you have to hire people to help you manage it it's it's you make as much money as you put into it like as much time and effort as you put in you're going to make more uh, a lot of people they can just create a course record a few videos stick it up and make a decent income and some people they have to work a little harder it depends on what the offer is and how many people need it I worked on the back end of a couple of those now and I created funnels I, I created a lot of funnels and websites and web pages and uh, webinars all that stuff I've done all of it and I can tell you it's it's a it's hard it's hard to do all that and it's hard to do it all by yourself too because I've done that as well and but it's if you do go that route and you do want to create a business I would suggest learning all the parts of the business because there's a lot that goes into it that you won't be able to understand and help your employees if you ever have employees or hire contractors you won't be able to help them if you don't know how to do it yourself so that's one thing that I would stick to uh, that's one thing I learned from building courses and helping build courses is there's a lot that goes into it a lot of moving parts but you need to be able to guide people that are helping you which means you need to know how to do all of it so all the you know the video editing the, the webinars the copywriting which is really important in that sort of thing building courses selling information is way harder than selling a product people see the product they decide if they want it or not with information you have to convince them that this is something that they need uh, just like trying to convince you that this channel is something that you need it's something that can help you make money right and that's something you got to convince people buying a course or a book or any kind of information product and information products are great because once you set them up they can kind of run themselves once you get into a routine uh, but yeah that they are more difficult to sell because you do have to do a lot of selling do a lot of uh, marketing for that kind of product for a physical product you just run an ad on Amazon or Facebook or something um, I've also done a handful of other things I mean um, what else have I done I'm not thinking of it I've done like 20 different things I mean I've also uh, done Facebook ads done Facebook ads YouTube ads oh god what else well of course Google ads done all kinds of advertising paid advertising I build websites building websites I hate building websites but you can do this easy if that's the kind of thing that you're into you know just jump into WordPress and start building and selling them to companies and they will buy them and you can rank them on Google and get paid quite a bit of money um, you could rank them on Google and get a, an income off of the ads that you have so there's a million different ways to work with websites now of course just building them and selling them to a company is one thing but you when trying to do an online business the best thing you can do is try to create a recurring income so for example uh, if you create a website you want to keep a recurring income for maintaining it for whatever your client is or uh, if you're running ads you want to make you want to get a monthly fee off of them that keeps that recurring income it's a uh, you're rebilling them every month for an amount of money now that's great because that way you can kind of track your income and not not it's not always so up and down you can kind of keep a keep a budget going and know how much is coming in and how much is going out and it's it's a lot easier plus you don't have to fight as much to make that income that month so recurring income is really important when working with online um, see I've also 
I've just sold random stuff around the house. I've I've sold artwork. I'm an artist. I've um, I've helped different companies do engineering stuff and so plans for uh, trips, maps, stuff like that. I've done a lot of random random stuff. Um, I've also done coaching. Coaching is something that I like. It's part of what I'm doing here. I uh, I coached in many different areas, including online business stuff, but also including like uh, mindset stuff. I coach for mindset, anxiety, that kind of thing. And I was really good at creating funnels to take people from ads uh, onto a lead magnet, which was like a, a teaser like a freebie that they'd buy, that they would download and then he would send him through to a phone call so they could call me and we'd go through a sales call, that sort of thing. Uh, that's what kind of a funnel does if you don't know what that is. It's just all the steps that it takes to get from one person to a, a stranger to a customer. Uh, sometimes funnels are really long and sometimes they're really short. Sometimes it's just they see an ad, they click, they buy. And sometimes you gotta take them through a bunch of series of steps or put them on an email list, which is also really important when it comes to online business. So email lists are like the bread and butter of a lot of businesses. Online. You get their email, that way you, you it's kind of like subscribing to them. Like they're, subscri they're, no, they're subscribing to your business by getting on your email list. Because you can just keep sending them stuff. Uh, and so you, you give them something free in exchange for the email address and you just keep sending them stuff that they might like, some value. Then you send them uh, something that you want them to buy. And uh, eventually that's going to, you know, profit for you. So like, for example, when, come, when, coming, when it's coming to numbers, it's about, let's see, you get about $1 per one subscriber per month. So if you get 10,000 subscribers, you got $10,000 a month. That's, you know, selling higher ticket items probably, I'm guessing, but that tends to be how it runs. So if you want to, if you want to sell something that's $500, let's hmm. say if you want to sell something that's like $10, where you got to sell it to a thousand people to get $10,000, right? If you have an email list of 10,000, that's how you would get $10,000 a month. Well, that's a pretty big chunk of that. That's like a 10%. Uh, that's a 10% uh, conversion rate. That's not that easy to get. You're, you're really usually looking at like a 1% conversion rate. If that, that's even, that's even good. Depends on what your product is, of course. So that's why a lot of people that make money online and use this technique use higher ticket items. So like a thousand dollar course or something like that. Then they're able to just sell a handful of items to make 10,000. So they'll sell instead of selling a, they'll just sell 10 courses out of the 10,000 email, email, uh, emails. They'll sell just 10, right? And they'll get $10,000. Boom. That's how they do it. And that's a much lower conversion rate and it makes more sense and it's a lot easier to do. So that's how, that's why a lot of people do that. Uh, and a lot of times it's just as easy to sell a $10,000 program to the right customer. It's easier to sell 10 uh, $1,000 programs than it is to sell a thousand ten dollar $10 products. That's just something that I've learned. And, you know, a lot of philosophy goes into this like with marketing. You have to kind of let them know what your, I don't know, what your product will do for them in the long run. So, for example, like, you have to help them figure out that that product is going to change their life in some way or another. If you're trying to sell, sell them a product, that's an info product. So for example, you might be selling them something that's uh, going to make them get a girlfriend or a boyfriend or something. So you have to show them 
that the way they're living now is going to keep them single. And then the way that they, and then kind of make them picture the way that they want to live. So you kind of have the pain and then you have the pleasure. They contrast that. And then you have the solution, which is your product or service, which is the only way to get to the pleasure to get away from the pain. That's how you have to position yourself. And that's ba that's the that's uh, the basic basic of all marketing when it comes to info products or really anything. You just gotta take their pain and solve it. But when doing copywriting or any of your marketing, you want to take the pain but twist it, twist the knife. So really dig in and show them why the way that they're living now isn't the right way, and then go in and show them the next way uh, that would make their the, the the way that they would make their dreams come true is by buying your product or service but also really twist the knife and show them how great it's going to be it's bridging that gap that's what it's called so you just want to bridge that gap between their pleasure and pain and the better you do that the more likely they are to buy now a lot of other things that go into marketing uh it's it's easier to market to somebody who is your target. So you don't want to target somebody that has no idea. That you don't want to try to sell some something where you, you're trying to give somebody a girlfriend. Help them, you know, with relationship issues. You don't want to sell to those people uh, or try to sell your product to people who already have a, a girlfriend or boyfriend. That's, you know, selling outside of your market. You want to stay in your market. Your market, your target market is people that are single. This is an example. But um, I can just keep going on marketing stuff. But one thing that we can do is talk a lot more about different little make money things. So see, there's a lot of secret ways to make money online. A lot of people don't talk about dark money secrets. Is It's why I call it that. There's different ways of making money with PayPal with uh, cryptocurrency. And of course, a lot of people use cryptocurrency. They, they trade it, hoping that it goes up. Or they can also stake it to where you get a percentage every month. Or you can bet against it or bet for it uh, in like an option, just like you would a stock. And a lot of different things you can do with it. Or you can also you can play games now. So there's like crypto games. And I'm going to go over all this stuff in uh, my videos. But... This is a lot of ways that you can make money and uh, there's just a lot of things you can do that most people don't know about. And the good thing about these is your grandma could do it, you know, your, your kid could do it. Uh, they're, they're meant to be easy ways that most people can get started, make a few extra bucks. And then there's some other ways that you can make a few hundred bucks and other ways you can make a few thousand and then some ways you can quit your job and go do what you want. And I'm going to go over all of them. Because uh, I've been through and worked with a bunch of them. And me and my team are going to be making you a lot of videos breaking down how to do each step, step by step, so that you can follow along and show you exactly what you need to do to use these platforms, use these apps and cryptocurrencies and NFTs and all these different things that you can use to make money online. And there's a bunch of different ones. Um, I found that. Like I was saying before, just believing that you can is half the battle. Um, let me check something here. I So, one thing, let's, let's talk about one book that has kind of inspired me, Expert Secrets. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but this book is one of the, the first ones I wrote, read on marketing, and it, got, it really got me interested in going through and uh, starting an online business, but it breaks it down in such an easy way. 
Now, before this book, it's, it's ironic that it says you know, Robert Kiyosaki on it because when I was a kid, I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I didn't really understand what it meant. I kind of did, but it, I, I, it didn't really register until I read it a couple more times as I got older. And the, the premise of it is, is that his, his poor dad was a, a professor who went to school. And, uh, well, he was a teacher that got his Ph.D., right? And some, I'm, I'm sure plenty of you guys have read this. But what was important about it is that was his poor dad. And he met a rich dad, which taught him business and how to invest and have assets that make you money. See, you want to have your money make you money. So if you do make money using all these techniques that I'm going to show you, make sure that it's stuff that's going to make you money in the long run. Uh, so if you make money, take it, invest it into something like cryptocurrency, invest it into real estate, invest it into something, maybe a business, a bigger business, or take your money from that business and create an, another business. And um, that's how a lot of people online that start a business, that's how they get really rich. That's how a lot of the rich people in the world get richer, is they, they, they start a business, it's like their muse that makes them a little bit of money, and they take that money, they put it towards something else, like a bigger business, and then they take that bigger business and they make a ton of money, and then they invest it into stocks and cryptocurrency and real estate, and then they just keep doing that until they die, <laughs> pretty much. That's how they make money. That's how they, they grow their wealth. So like... Uh, if you use one of the smaller te techniques that I talk about and you make a hundred bucks, put it in something that makes you a thousand, like cryptocurrency or something. Not all of them are going to do that, but you can figure out a way to do that. Or you can take that hundred bucks and buy a, a bunch of products and sell it until you get a thousand. And take that thousand and invest in something else and invest in something else and yada yada. Just build a different business. That's what I've done. And that's what a lot of people I know have done. Uh, you build a a business doing ads for somebody, like doing marketing, paid marketing, or you take the income from that and you put it towards building a course. You take the income from that and you put it towards building software. Take the income from that and you put it towards real estate or investing in stocks and crypto and blah, blah, blah. blah. But um, if you do want to start like an online business that's info product based, this is one of the best ones you can use. And uh, this book is going to teach you all the basic things that you need to know. I mean, it goes through pretty much everything in terms of the copywriting, marketing type stuff. Whew. Let's get back into it. My camera shut off. But you don't see a whole lot of uh, business opportunities in other areas because it's usually in the health, wealth, and relationships type field. So, basically, when you start out, you want to create a charismatic character, an attractive character, which is very not who I am, very not charismatic, I admit it. But when you get started, you can kind of play to your strengths when it comes to this. So, if you're doing some kind of info product, uh, you really want to create that a character around the idea or business model that you're offering. And it could just be uh, like a lot of people are single moms or it could be gamers uh, or nerdy entrepreneurs that just get started and uh, figure something out or the poor guy that finds some hack to make a bunch of money. There's a lot of different things you can do. And then you want to kind of create the belief around it. Show people that you know what you're talking about. Show people that uh, by following you that they can uh, accomplish their dreams. Just like that whole bridge the gap. Um, I have my recorder going. But basically... There's a lot of different things you can do when it comes to it. I would also not give up uh, trying 
if it goes bad. So a lot of people will try something, and I've done this a lot. They'll try something and they'll give up the first time anything goes bad, goes bad, bad goes bad. Anything doesn't happen the way they want it to. And it's going to happen. I mean, that's business. That's trying to make money. Even in your job, things are going to go bad. And, uh, and a lot of people think that having a job is somehow more secure than having a business. If you have a business, that means you have skills that you can sell. Or service, even, or as a service, or as a product, package it into a product. But with a, with a job, uh, they, can, they can fire you at any time if something goes wrong. But if you have skills for a business, you can always make money. You can just start a new business. If it doesn't work out, you can start something else. Uh, with a job, sometimes you can, it's hard to get a job after you get fired. So let's say you're a programmer and you get fired from your job. And they give you a bad review. Uh, if somebody calls them for reference, they give you a bad reference. And you just can't get another job because that, that one company is just ruining your chances well if you have a business you know you can always start another one under a different name even you can always just keep trying if it doesn't work out but having those skills is what's important plus if you learn skills through a business if you do need to get a job you can i've done that too i've learned a lot of skills through trying to start online businesses or starting them and being successful even that i can transfer and plus you can tell somebody that's an employer hey look I did all this myself, and uh, this is what I've accomplished. And they'll like you. In fact, they'll probably pay you more. And uh, but helping other people build online businesses is something that I really liked to do. And I've done that a lot. I've been on the back end of so many different ones, and I've learned a lot of these different psychological skills that you need to learn. And I might talk about that some in my channel too as well. To make sure that you know uh, what you need to, how you you need to think in order to make make money and be successful with all these techniques and tricks and the the dark money that's out there and how to get it. But you won't be successful with it if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, if you don't have the mental capacity to, uh, I don't know. Just be, be yourself, you know, you gotta, you're just not gonna be successful if you don't, if you don't believe that you can. And so I saw like, for example, there was one guy who started off in this one program that I took after me and then it had been like a year and within a year, I was at the same spot that I was when I started because I gave up on it. But he stuck with it. And by the end of it, he was actually making like 30000 a month. I was making the exact same in my job. I wasn't making 30000 a month. He was, he was making 30000 a month doing the same stuff that I learned. And I didn't follow along with him because I didn't try. But I tried and I gave up. Now, a lot of people, they, they start off and then they give up the first moment, the first thing that goes wrong. That's typical. That's just the way it goes. But um, well, this guy, I think he believed going in that he knew he was going to make money. And he was just a regular guy. I mean, he was just like a coffee shop barista or something. But he went in there and he knew. Uh, he was he was really confident, even though he didn't have the skills put in place. He knew he was going to learn them, and I think now he's probably making over a million dollars a year. It's crazy! It's crazy how quick that happens. It's just about having that confidence. And yeah, sometimes confidence comes from that first win. There's this idea called the winner effect. When you get that first win, eventually, it's going to pay off, and you're going to have this mental shift to where you're really going to believe in yourself. And once you do that, all the money starts to flow. 
like when you can sit down and and map out how you're going to make money step by step then it's not even a question anymore that you're going to be successful and any of these techniques i'm going to be showing you on this channel are going to be exactly what you need to know step by step to accomplish money but you got to mentally prepare yourself and know that and map out yourself what steps you're going to take so i'm going to give you the steps and then you're going to have to write out the steps that you're going to take yourself uh, cuz it's once you do that you find some clarity around how you want to approach these problems how you want to approach these business models or these income streams these apps and programs and things and ways you can make money if you have a plan it's 10 times easier uh, and the more step by step you make it I mean I'm talking about just create a create a list of like 1 through 10 and say I got to do this ABC one I got to do this ABC I got to do this ABC if you break it down like that it makes anything so much easier and you can just check them off when you're done and it keeps you motivated it keeps you willing to risk uh, or take that risk, taking risks that might cost you a little money in order to make some money. But if you know that, if you take these steps, at the end of that, it's going to be a profit for you. You're going to be more likely to take that risk and you need to take risks. Taking risk is really important with making money online. They can be small risks. Like subscribing to this channel and liking, hey, uh, or they can be you know, really large risks like dropping $5,000 for a program. I actually spent $6,000 for a program over the summer. It was a coaching program. And uh, I learned a lot from that program, uh, especially a lot about being on camera, which I hate. And you can probably tell I'm not that great at it. But one of the reasons you know, I'm starting YouTube and, and doing more video stuff is to get good at that. because when you want to make money online, you have to find a way to overcome your deficiencies and just become 1% better every day. Don't compare yourself with everybody. Um, it's not going to benefit you in any way. Just compare yourself to the person you were the day before. Just 1% better every day. Just try to do you know, one more rep. Uh, try to run one more mile. Uh, work for one more minute every single day on your projects. Make one more dollar. When you when you look at it that way, these monumental tasks of, of starting a business or making some kind of income becomes a lot easier. And uh, of course, a lot of the, the types of uh, money-making uh, projects that we're going to be talking about they're they're easy to get started. You don't have to take much risk at all. A lot of time, a lot of them they're free to get started. I've done a lot of them that are free. I mean, it's free to get on YouTube, right? It's free to sign up for an, an app that pays you if you play a game. Uh, it's easy to take ten bucks and put in crypto and make thirty. Sometimes, if you're lucky, but it's not easy to drop, you know, twenty five thousand dollars into a business, or a hundred thousand dollars into a business, and hope that it works out. You got to have some faith there, and you got to really know what you're doing. So I suggest starting step by step, starting with something small. If you're new to this, then working your way up and working your way up. Um, so for example, you could make money flipping stuff on eBay or Facebook Marketplace right and you know so you make an extra couple hundred dollars a month at a low scale you can make a lot more than that but let's say you're just making a couple hundred so you take the couple hundred and you buy software like video editing software or something you buy some kind of software and then with that you learn the skill or you buy a course with it you buy software in a course all right, or you just watch free tutorials on YouTube, which is what I usually do for a lot of like learning how to do software. So there you go. Next, you you provide it as a service. So you start running it as as a service to people you know, people 
you can you can uh, reach people on Facebook for free posting groups stuff like that to get some initial money coming in so let's say you charge a hundred dollars a pop and you and you sell 20 people you make two thousand dollars well now you have two thousand dollars now you can buy a course that's a really expensive course that shows you all the steps you need to do to, to do something else so you take a two thousand dollar course and it teaches you how to do Facebook marketing so you learn all the skills through that course to do Facebook marketing and you start a, an agency well then you start making fifteen hundred dollars a pop for somebody or to teach or to run ads for people fifteen hundred dollars a company per month so really quickly you can get to ten grand a month so now you're making six figures suddenly that's how it works that's how you quit your job you find something that makes you 100 bucks here 200 bucks there you reinvest it make a couple thousand you reinvest it and so on and so forth and uh, like i said those people that do have agencies that are making ten thousand a month well they take that money and they invest in uh people that help them build a course and they build a course and then they make you know five hundred thousand on the course they take that money and they invest in real estate so they buy a few houses they do airbnb they get rentals uh or they put it into crypto and they make a bunch of money and they just keep doing that and eventually they'll they'll build a software company they'll build a team around that they'll make a bunch of money doing that there's so much that you can do out there if you have faith uh if you put in the work you'd be surprised what you could pull off it's um it's not as impossible as you think because I've seen so many people that started out as, uh, well, just broke. Grandpas and grandmas and, like I said, coffee shop people and people living in their mom's basement, stuff like that, that are making multi-six figures or even seven figures now. It's true. I've seen a lot of people do it. It's like, I'm not even making seven figures. But I know a lot, I've seen a lot of people that come out uh, making that much, starting from nothing. And so I believe that it's possible. And I've seen so much, it's no doubt in my mind, that many of you watching this are probably going to end up making six and seven figures uh, online, doing some of the techniques that I show you in these videos in my channel. So we're going to be going over all the dark money secrets that you can think of and making it easy for you to follow along and break it down to where you can get started making a couple hundred dollars in some techniques. If you have a couple hundred to invest, you can make a couple thousand dollars in other techniques and then so on and so forth. Just think of it like a ladder. Well, in in marketing, what's called a value ladder is when you, you get somebody to buy your product at a low rate. So you first you give somebody a freebie. And then uh, you give them something that's 20 bucks and then you give them something that's, or you sell them something that's 200 bucks and then you sell them something that's 2000 and 20,000 and yada, yada. That's a value ladder. Well, when you're making money, it's the same. You got to start small and then you can afford that next thing that they are selling you. So you, you take the freebie and you use that to make a hundred bucks or 20 bucks, right? Uh, you pay them, you pay them the 20 bucks for that next product then you have enough money to make a hundred bucks or 200 bucks. Then you pay them 200 for the next product that they have. Then you use that knowledge to make 2000. Then you give them 2000 bucks for the next product. And then you use the knowledge you learned on that product to make 20,000. And then you can pay them 20,000. That's sort of how it works. Um, but that's how, you know, if you want to be successful online, you do have to go through steps. And those are the steps you need to take. Uh, so if you're just getting started, don't think that it's a big insurmountable thing. It might take you a few years and it might take you a few months. Uh, but it's going to take you time to put your ducks in a row, get the experience and the skills you need, or get the money that you need to start that business that's going to free you from your 9 to 5 job. Give you that financial freedom. Because these days, a job is not secure. Now they're firing everybody. Uh, and when they're not firing people, they're going out of business because everything's shut down. Supply lines are messed up. Uh, COVID got everybody messed up. But um, there's a lot going on 
that you know it's it's making it hard for people to keep their jobs and basically you want to have this option to make money online and that's another reason I wanted to start this channel is because people are losing their jobs or they're quitting their jobs they're upset they're not making the money that they need to be supportive on be supported on they have kids the options that you can learn on this channel will help you go through and find something that really speaks to you and find a new way to make that extra income I mean for me personally it it seems like uh, I've been able to accomplish that. I'd get started doing something that I really wasn't that into, and then I'd take a step up. I learned some skills online, and then I was able to get a better job, and get a better job, and then start my own business, and then go from there. And I've seen a lot of people just they get fired. Or that they, they spend so much on these really advanced college degrees. And they don't really go anywhere. They, they're still making the same amount they were years before. Or they're in $200,000 debt. Uh, if I went back now, I probably wouldn't go to college. I'd probably just start a business at 18 or earlier. Because um, I've seen people that are 16 and 17 making six figures. It's not that uncommon. And um, personally, you know, it's, it's really inspiring to see that, you know, I could have started that young. And if you're that young, you can start that young. One thing a lot of people are doing is social media stuff. So if you know how to run social media, which a lot of the younger crowd do, um, jump into it. Start really figuring it out. And you can actually help other people grow their social media accounts. Because uh, I, I imagine if you're if you are younger your parents or your grandparents or people you know are always trying to get you to show them how to use social media. Uh, well, get really good at it. Get really good at growing it. And then charge people for it. You can make money right then, right there. That's that's a great way for the young generation to make money. Just show them how. Or do it for them. Have like a done-for-you social media growth company or a social media management agency, something like that. So there's an idea right there. But um let me just check something. But for many people that are ready to take their life to the next level, uh, don't be afraid to start a business. I'm, I'm checking everything just to uh, make sure everything's recording because a lot of times I'll record and it doesn't actually start. And I'm like I said, I'm not editing anything out because I just wanted to try to do it without editing anything out. Uh, I'm always going through and spending two or three hours editing. And with me, it's like, oh, Lord. So I just decided to go ahead and record one long video, intro video, to just talk about some of this stuff and get myself used to being on camera again. I've done a lot of video stuff, but it's been a while. With with um, the uh, virus that must not be named, I have been stuck in a lot and as a lot of people have uh, so I'm trying to get used to doing more video stuff doing more um, video work and this YouTube is gonna be great because I'm gonna go through and give you more curated step-by-step -step videos uh, going over all these different ways that you can make money so a lot of people think that making money online is all it's all scammy all right I want to go over that because there are some scams one of the things that makes it a scam is if somebody is trying to give get money for no value or little value. So they're trying to get more money than the value that they're offering. So, for example, if 
someone get uh, sells a course and in the course they're just kind of going over general stuff but they're not really giving you all the steps that you need uh to to make money and uh a lot of times they haven't made money online so they might just be making it up all that kind of stuff is what a scam is they're they're just uh they're not really giving you the steps that you need that will actually make you money doing whatever business model that they're trying to sell you on now one thing to look out for is uh if they really don't know what they're doing, if they're not giving you actual specific steps, uh, that's usually a scam. Now, a lot of people think that they're all scams, but I've seen enough of them to know that I've seen enough people be successful at these online business programs and business models that you see on YouTube and stuff. I've seen enough people be successful to know that they're not scams. It actually depends on how much work you put into it, how much effort, how much faith you have. Um, uh, and also your interest. If you're not interested in something, you're probably not going to make money. I've done that a lot. I've actually quit a lot of business models because I just didn't like them. Like I quit e-commerce. I just wasn't into it. But a lot of people are and you can make money at it. A lot of people have made a lot of money. A lot of younger people have made a lot of money playing with e-commerce, doing Amazon FBA, uh, building influencer influencer accounts on like TikTok or Instagram and then uh, you know they can sell ads and so if you have a lot of followers on TikTok or Instagram you can actually sell ads to people as an influencer and a lot of you a lot of you know this but it's a good thing to keep in mind as you're going forward and building your social media accounts is if you build it high enough i'm talking about like 50 to 100,000 subscribers you can definitely make some money off of that um even even lower like 20,000 10,000 subscribers people will still pay you to post their ads on if it's if, if it's related and um don't be uh, afraid to put in your bio and in like instagram that contact that they can contact you for promotions but you can also sell your products. So if you do have a large social media following, that's a huge way to have a business right there. If you have a large social media following and they're engaged, that's a, that can be a business. You just sell them stuff. <laughs> you sell them affiliate products. You can sell them your own products. Um, you can li link. You can sell uh, ads so they can buy other people's products and you get a percentage. There's so much you can do. There's so much. Building an audience you always have uh, people there that will buy something, especially if they know you really well. Now, the same thing goes for email lists. That's an audience. As long as you have an email list, you always have a way to make money. Uh, these are great, especially if you don't want to pay for ads. Because, um, I mean, ads can get really expensive. They're getting more and more expensive because people are filling up the space. Like on Facebook, it used to be a lot cheaper to run ads. On Google, it used to be a lot cheaper. Now, everybody and their brothers are doing it. Um, so it's increased the bid cost for ads. So like two people are bidding on uh, placing an ad at a certain time at a certain place on Facebook or on YouTube or something. Well, the more people you have bidding on it, you know, you know the, usually the higher it goes. The same thing with Amazon advertisement. I've been doing a lot of that. Um, so the more people out there trying to run ads to the same target uh, at the same time will increase the price. And so that just keeps going up and up and up. But if you can create an audience, you have an organic way to sell. Uh, you can always sell a bunch to the audience and then use the money to that you get from the audience from organic sales to put towards... Uh, paid sales paid advertising and you can just keep it going like that so there's a lot of different things you can do with an audience that you can if you don't so always keep in mind always be building an audience that's something that's really important when, when you're trying to build an online income to be able to quit your job so a lot of people that build uh audiences or become influencers are, are able to quit their job they just have enough people enough eyeballs on their stuff to know that they can they can always, or to always have that income coming in, whether it's ads from a YouTube channel or whether it's uh, 
in influencer paid promotions or whether you're selling or they're selling their own products to their their audience so always be building an audience in the background let's check in see what time it is but um really i would uh keep watching the channel and i'm going to be updating it every week multiple times a week with new videos for you to find new ways to make money online and uh these ways are going to kind of broaden your horizons and expand your your consciousness about making money uh these opportunities are easy to get into they don't cost a lot all these like more secretive unknown ways they keep coming the new ones keep coming out as well so if you don't like likes of them or you try them and they don't work just stay tuned there's going to be a new one come out there's gonna be new ways all the time uh to make a few extra bucks lots of little ways especially with crypto a lot a lot of more ways are coming out that you can uh start making some extra income and there's a lot of older ways that are being changed that you can kind of adapt to to make them more easy like new software comes out to make some old method some old business model 10 times easier just like think of you know e-commerce think about how much alibaba has changed think of how drop shipping has changed that whole thing think about how shopify has changed making money online uh through e-commerce think about how amazon has made or has changed uh, making money online it's created so many different opportunities and those opportunities are just going to keep growing the old ones are going to keep growing and the new ones are going to come out to make new opportunities like for example i talked about dot com secrets that was written by or, or expert secrets written by russell brunson where they go into building funnels and becoming an expert in your field that changed a lot of people's lives too all these courses that you see everywhere that's 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 where a lot of that came from uh i, I think after that book came out and he started promoting his you know funnel making business and that stuff it really grew the amount of people uh building courses out there and now you see that everywhere and people are you know use utilizing uh info products to make money online and share their knowledge with the world i think my camera cut off which i was hoping wouldn't happen I don't remember what I was talking about where it, when it cut off, but basically, I uh, think that you're going to enjoy all the new videos and new ways of making money that's going to come out on my channel. Like I was saying, there's a lot of uh, things that are, are going to get, there's a lot of ways that I'm going to be talking about that are that are newer, but there's also a lot of things that are older that we can improve on. Think about, uh, like, like I was t saying, Amazon. When it, when Amazon FBA came out, think about how many millionaires that made. Think about Shopify. How many millionaires that made? Think about uh, all these courses people are coming out with. Think about how many millionaires that made. Uh, being able to use like ClickFunnels. Every time a new software or a new company comes out, so many new millionaires. And lots of other new opportunities like Uber, like DoorDash, you know, Uber Eats, all these things. Those are all new ways of uh, making money that most people couldn't even dreamed of uh, 10, 15 years ago. And now they're coming out. And even YouTube. There's a lot of ways to make money on YouTube, having your own channel. And just having faith that there's something out there for you even if you think that you don't like one of the things i talk about or you don't like one of the business models or income streams that i'll be going over there's something else and if you tried other things in the past and you think you've tried everything you probably haven't because if you tried everything you'd probably be making money because there's there's something out there that will work for you and um i just want you to be aware of that and remember that there's there's something for everybody. And you can be creative too. You can come up with new ways of making money. But I'm going to be going over ways specifically that people have already used to be making incomes online. Um, 
because I want you to know what works first, and then you can kind of play around. See, you got to learn the rules before you can break them. But basically, if you want to make money online uh, in, in a business, provide value for somebody. Provide value and charge them a fair amount. Um, even if you're just playing on some app that makes you an income, or there's some little secret uh, method that you can make income that I'll be talking about, some little software that you can use or something you can do with crypto, just keep in mind that it's going to be worth it if you just stick it out. If you just follow the steps that I'm going to be going over, you can make it happen. And this is all totally free. I'm not charging for any of it. Uh, and uh, this is just going to be a bunch of free ways for you to make money online. Just keep keep trying new things. And keep tuned because I'm going to be coming out with new videos, like four or five videos a week from here on out. And those videos are going to give you tons of new methods of making money online. Um, just keep keep trying. It's important to stick with something if you, if you like. It's important to uh, give yourself the, uh, the opportunity to try something new to try a new business model, to try a new hack that can make you some extra money, to try uh, any kind of thing, to give you that little extra buck, a little extra money after you get off work. Just want to do a few surveys or do some, um, you know, play some games that makes you an income. There's a lot of games out there now that you can actually make income or, through cryptocurrency, gaming crypto. Just play the game, and when you get money in the game, it actually makes you money in real life, which is crazy. I don't know how, how it works exactly, but we're going to go over it. Uh, cryptocurrency is one of those things that just boggles the mind, but people are making good money with it, and I'm going to show you a lot of different ways that you can use it to make money yourself without having to invest thousands of dollars. Um a lot of the methods I want to talk about are easy to get into because I want people that do have a hard time uh, having the money to get started with businesses or making money online. I want to give them the opportunity to get started on something, make some kind of money. And uh, I think that'll be a good way for any of you out there to start with making money online is to start small. And we'll be going over all the small ways you can get started as well as the medium ways, the ways that cost a little bit more, as well as some of the ways that don't cost anything or uh, but it can still give you a large return. See, there's so many new ways out there that you might not have even heard of we can make money. And uh, I hope to be going over a lot of those and hope to give you uh, all the skills you need to do it as well. There's going to be some opportunities that you might not have heard of before. And then there's going to be some you've already heard of. But I might be able to give you a new perspective on making some of these incomes that you might have not heard of before. So even if you think that you know everything about a subject, I'm probably going to give you some new information. Uh, there's so much out there on making money online, weeding through what works and what doesn't work is going to be important. And what works basically is the thing that can put money in your pocket uh, easily without you putting out much effort uh, initially if you just want to get started. Now, eventually, you're going to put out a lot of effort to make the big money. But if you just want to make a few bucks, you can make a few bucks. You can make bucks doing anything from transcription to get playing games on your phone. And we're going to go over all these different methods. Um, but like I said before, belief is very important. Believing that you can do it. And uh, paying attention and staying tuned to my channel is going to give you a lot of the tips and uh, tactics that you'll need to succeed. Uh, most of what I'm doing is going to be easy, dige easily digestible, bite-sized chunks of step-by-step -step information that's going to get you to making money online easier using one of these techniques. Now, none of these are hard. 
all of these are going to be super easy for you to get started. Uh, if they are hard, I'm going to tell you that they're harder. But usually when they're hard, that means that you get a lot more money. It's all about how much money, time you want to invest, how much money you want to invest, what you're comfortable with, um, and how much money you want to make. Because uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there if you look. And I'm going to try to bring that opportunity to the to light by just showing you as much as I can. Uh, every week, multiple videos a week, I'm going to be showing you different tactics and different techniques that you can use uh, to grow your income and maybe eventually quit your job. Uh, I hope that something I said can inspire you in some way or uh, give you uh, some hope that if you're struggling, there are ways to make money out there that you might not have heard of before. There are ways to create an income where you don't have to rely on a job, which is kind of flaky and on shaky ground these days. And a lot of people are just tired of working for somebody else, not living their life to their fullest potential, not becoming who they really want to be in life because they're stuck working nine to five. And I want to, I want to help a lot of you guys get out of that situation because I've been out of that situation and it's so nice to not have to, uh, you know, deal with driving an hour in a commute and spilling coffee on yourself because you're pissed off because somebody in, in traffic uh, stopped right in front of you, you know, you, and then you get to work and nobody really cares. It's it's nice to be able to say you did something yourself, but it takes work. It takes step by step, starting small, working up, or uh, just learning the right information. And that's what I'm trying to do in this channel. Me and my team are going to be bringing you all kinds of new te techniques to making money online, new opportunities that are um, kind of hidden that you don't really hear about. A lot of them I haven't heard about until I learn them uh by you know digging deep into this information, finding all these new opportunities that you know they don't advertise on TV, obviously, they're out there hidden on the web, uh, different places, and um, I mean my team are going to bring them all to you and show you step by step how to get to where you want to go, and hopefully you get there that's and it's pain free and you don't have to worry about. Uh, worrying about scams or anything like that because all the stuff I'm going to be talking about, they're not scams. They're actual legitimate business models or legitimate companies or software or apps that you can use to make an income. Um, a lot of people think crypto is a scam. It's only a scam. Some of them are. Some of them are, but most of them, if you use them correctly, they're not. They're however you want to make them. So there, you can use crypto to make an income a lot of different ways. Uh, just stick to the ones that we're going to be talking about in uh, the, on my channel. And um, stick to the ones that are well known and not uh, that have people backing them. So, yeah, I hope that you find some value out of this video and you find some value out of my channel. I'm going to be going over a ton of different ways for you to be making money. And I... Uh, Hope that we get get you somewhere, get you where you want to go. Be sure to like and subscribe and um, comment down below anything you want to talk about, specifically anything you want to learn about, or if you heard about some business model and you want us to go over it, I will be happy to make a video about it. Uh, other than that, be safe out there. It's a crazy world, and I hope that you have faith that you can make money online. And we're going to be giving you all the tools that you can. Just pay attention. Make sure to watch every video that comes out. There's going to be something that you're going to like. And I hope that you can use it to change your life forever. Thanks.